welcome to this Way to Fire YouTube video where today it's me, Andy, and I'll be playing against Rob. Yep. So Rob is going to take me through Dreadfall. Um, as you may have seen from my previous video, uh, it was Rob and Jez playing then because I am a Dreadball newbie really. Uh, and that's still the case. I haven't played <laughs> since the last video. So uh, probably going to get a good spanking today. Um, but anyway, we're going to have a laugh. We're going to hopefully show you again some of the new changes for Dreadball 2. And um, Rob obviously is on the Dreadball Rules Committee, so if you want to learn from someone, and if you're going to get taken um, to the cleaners by someone, you might as well get taken by the cleaners by someone on the Rules Committee. So what are we actually playing with today, Rob? Uh, today, you've chosen to play with the Nameless. Yes, yes! Uh, probably one of the more tricky ones to start with. Oh, sugar. <laughs> but it's also a good, strong team, or it certainly was in the first edition been toned down a little bit this time round, so we will be able to see a lot of the, the changes there. Uh, and I've picked one of the ones which was probably one of the weak ones in last time, uh, time round. Not really played outside of playtesting yet, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm going to be using the Crystallians, um, because I just want to smash some people. <laughs> oh dear. Right. My, my squishy tentacles are going to get a pound in. <coughs> Doesn't sound very good, does it? Alright, well, let's see how we go on. Right, here we are. Here we are live from the stadium. Where we have the Calamar in Ancients versus... I can't remember what they're called now. <laughs> <laughs> Something shovel like. Shards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Shards? Oh, I can't read your writing. <laughs> yeah, I know, sorry. Yeah. Not the same way. Anyway, so here we are set up. So I've got the Calamar and Ancients. Here I've got the white team and Rob has his Crystallans in the, the red zone. And we need to dice for um, dice for the ball, don't we? Okay. Ball comes in. Three. Uno dos tres. There we go. Okay. Very simply, it's over to you with your five actions. Right. So I am going to follow the example that I saw when you guys played before, and I'm going to spend my first one. Yep. To buy a card. And I show this to come. Uh, don't have to. Absolutely. Only if I use it, isn't it? Ah, I've not shown secret. my card. Ah, of course, yeah. Right, that's okay. So, I have not played much Dreadball, and I don't understand this team, so we are going to have a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Right. And you synergize off of other people being close to you, don't you? I do, but... It is only when I spend tokens or cards. Ah! <laughs> <coughs> Recently clarified, just yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> right, suddenly that makes things a lot nicer for me. So I don't think I'm going to bash you guys particularly well, but we're going to try. So um, he is going to sprint. No, he's going to sprint. He doesn't need to sprint, does he? One, two, three, four, five. And then he would have to dash. He's just going to move one, two, three, four, five. And then we are going to spend our card that we've just got oh. to slam. And he can move with a slam, can't he? Yes, you can. So I think these guys are exactly the same stats, so I'm going to go and hit this guy. Okay, I will be uh, looking to hit you back. Okay. So I'm going to get three dice plus one. Because I'm a guard. And I get three plus one. Plus another one. For so being the one going to get me for five. moving and the fact that you're a guard. And we are, I am using my strength, presumably. <coughs> you are. Which is three plus. And it's my three plus. So. <coughs> I've got three, but two of them are sixes. Yep, so I've got three as well, but your sixes will explode, so you get another two dice to roll. And another six. I don't know. Lots of ones and sixes there, it seems. So yeah. four. <clears throat> four versus three, so you haven't doubled me, so you push me back to one of these three hexes here. Hmm. And this is then your choice as to whether you wish to follow up or not? Actually, I will follow up if I can. Can I do yep. that? Yep. Because. Well, you can only go into the hex. Ah, I see. Well, well, that's that. less useful then. So anyway, we're going to activate this striker, number eight. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, and then he's going to dash to pick the ball up. So three dice needs one success, doesn't he? Yes. Against his agility stat or speed? Speed. Force. There he gets his success. He doesn't double it, unfortunately. And now he gets to try and pick the ball up. So now he needs to roll again, doesn't he? Yes. Four dice skill test. Skill is four. Four dice. Oh, four dice. Fantastic. He's got oh, one. That's still rubbish. So he's got the ball. The ball. So I can move to there, can't I, and then throw the ball? Yes, you can. I'll just get a minus one for throwing it. Uh, you'd get a minus one for moving, and a minus one for shooting, because uh, it's a small target. Yeah. So you'd be on two dice. And that would be the end of the action. Yeah, it? so you've theoretically got one more action. Mm. So I might use that one more to play on this guy again. Yep. I make him do the same again. Another okay. slam. I will, so of again. course, slam you back. So again, it's three, one for guard and one for moving in. So five. Yep. In. So I've got two so far, and I've got one to see if I stay on my feet, which I don't. So, so I got five that time. Yep. You push me back to one of those three there. Uh, towards the side, please. I also fall over. Yep. Are you following up? Um. Yeah, why not? Okay. You have to make an armour roll to you as well. I do. I do. So you follow up into the hex and you end up like that. Mm. So I've got two successes, you've got five, which means there's a difference of three. So I get four dice, needing three or more, because I'm made of rock. Yes. Loves it. Easily done. Loves it. And your final action. And now my final action is on eight again. Now, you now actually have an option of coming from here and going for a bonus point. Mm, that might be worth doing. But that's yeah, the one extra dice. minus one dice, won't it? Yes, because it's the range. four cubes, four hexes, I should say. <laughs> death or glory, death or glory, mostly death. Two, three, four. Yeah, we'll go to there, and we are going to try and score two points. <coughs> so what happens? The ball is going to. Go to this point here. And then it'll either go in or it'll bounce. Exactly. So So I start with how many dice do I You start with? with three dice. Start with three. Lose one because I moved. Yep. And you lose one because it's the small target. And then because it's that's it, so that's just it. on one dice. Yep. And it's a skill test, right? It is. Four plus fifty-fifty. I do have one coaching dice. I've rolled ones and sixes so far in this game, which means it really is. Right, I'm actually going to throw my coaching dice in this. Let's get started. Yep. Coaching dice didn't matter, they weren't in any room. Uh, the klaxon sounds. Ding. And there we are. Right, and so, the first rush. The other thing to do is to turn over the top card. The number in the top left hand corner tells you that the ref moves three hexes. So it's a three. So that's up to three hexes, and it can't end. And I'm moving. On a lot of, well, on the, yeah, you can go there. Go at one rush. So we don't do anything about fans, do we? No. Rush for a score, yeah. So, uh, um, just goes, oh yeah, it was on the first In my rush too. Yeah. So, so how do I do a fan check? You just take the top card, and you put it in, over there for you. So you've got two dots. Yeah. As soon as you get three, you get another dice. Ah, very nice. Okay, that's part way there. So, uh, right. Now we've caught up, let's do my turn. <sighs> it wasn't very nice hitting him. Uh, well, you know, do. I'm a gribbly alien monster -y thing. <laughs> First thing we'll do is we will launch a ball. It goes to one. <whistles> you know what? I don't like that guard. He wasn't very kind. Nice. Yeah, he has exposed his back to you a little bit, hasn't he? So I'm going to play my first action on this guard here. 
So I'm going to now work out how many additional dice I get. <laughs> yeah, by two. synergizing off your friends. I get two dice, because I've got two guys near me. It would be nice to have one more, but it won't matter much. He's only going to do one thing. One, two, three, four. Smack me in the back. And slam. What? So, I get three dice, plus one for being a guard, plus one because I moved. Oh, oh. And two more. And this is why you don't play someone <laughs> who knows this game well when you know nothing about it. What do I roll? I roll three, do I? You do I still get one for a guard, even though it's in the rear? No, you have one option here, which is to dodge. Ah! That's agility. <laughs> which is fives. Mm, that's good. And because it's in your rear arc, you lose a dice. So it gives me two. It gives you two dice. All right, two on fives. Six is still a blow! Oh, that's two fives. So I'm all right with that. And you got loads of ones. Lots of ones, but there is a six there. So. Yeah. I got two, you have doubled me. I've doubled you. One more, and I'd have a fan check. Yeah. Oh. So, uh, right, I'm going to push you back to there, and I'm going to knock you down. Uh, you're not, because I'm steady. No, I ah, see. Ooh, I won't. Andy read a rule. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I'm not going to follow up. Yeah. Uh, but there is three lots of damage that does need to be saved. Okay, so how do I do this then? So, uh, you start off with your basic three dice, you add one because you're a guard, and mm -hmm. then you look at your armor stat, which I believe... Is not bad, four. Four. So, there's three to, three to, three to save. Three to save. Oh, um, yeah, we'll take yeah, that. Yeah, that'll do that. We'll take that. That was four success uh, three successes. Yes. So, what am I going to do now? So, um... Hmm. So, I'm going to put two to one side. Always good to do. It means I, I might do something really like. I'm gonna buy a card. Because I like cards. Oh. I've realised we've got two factions that are very unlikely to do any damage to each other here, haven't we? Yeah. Quite possibly. possibly. We'll bash each other around, but just take chunks off. As you can see, we're using the new board this time. Um, we have put down a, an old neoprene mat to just protect the other side, because I think if you've seen the unboxing <coughs> we did, um, I think these will get damaged quite easily um, on just any normal tabletop, so that was the rationale for that. I'm going to spend this to stand this guy up. Yep. So, if you I, stand I generate, my arc, does that make a difference or not? I generate one dice. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try and stand him up, so I get three dice. I oh, you generate one. one from your friend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I lose one dice because he's there. Oh, I see, that's So I'm going to chuck that in, yeah. try and stand up, uh, on fives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have rolled that on camera, but I've yeah, got a six. Yeah, the DB is a six, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Which becomes two successes, so I get a free action as well. Mm. Wank. Here he comes. Should be more of a... Uh, <laughs> As he sort of reconnects himself. Yeah. Always, uh, with uh, the robots, it's always, it's always a. Yeah. Uh, the right sound effects can be created. <laughs> so let's see what my options I can. So I can slam if I wish. Do I want to slam? It's a straight dice roll. Yeah, let's do, do it. it. Do it. Let's do it. I've lost that dice, unfortunately, because I used it. I would have, if I hadn't have used it, I could have used uh, it. Ah, so now. you only get it for one action, do you? That extra. Uh, you get it for dice. anything that you buy an action for, and it carries over onto free actions because it's a continuation. You've already right. paid That's for. the harmonics thing. Yeah. So okay. I'm going to hit the crab guy. Hit the crab guy. Okay, well, I'm going to slam you back. Cool. So you've got four dice, I've got four dice, we're both rolling threes. Let's see if somebody can actually do something. I'm going to roll these ones. Uh, oh, good. Maybe all I'm not going to roll those ones. Six. <laughs> I like that roll. Uh, that was for the six, yep. which is a one. So I got four. And I've got one. one. So quadrupled. Um, quadrupled, so that's a fan check. Oh, fantastic. Did we just turn the card now? Yep, so... Got uh, oh. uh, yep. Is that right? You get your so one. one, which gives me an extra. I cash them in straight away. Cash them in straight away. So just turn them straight over there, because uh, yeah. that's where they go. And uh, in leagues, they come into play. Okay, and then I've gained a blue dice. Yep. Uh, I'm pushed to one of those two hexes. Uh, straight back. Fine. Straight back. I'm back on the floor. It was him. Yeah. <laughs> Are you? It's actually pointing. 
Uh, I will actually, yeah, I will. Okay. <sighs> armor? Yes, armor. So I'm going to just remove these dice. So these are the dice from the Dreadball Extreme Kickstarter, which are going to go the same place my blue dice did after last time. So when we only roll ones. Yeah, that'd be one. <laughs> so, uh, three lots of damage to yes. survive. Uh, needing threes on these because oh. we're made of rock. There you Lots go. It's not going anywhere. Yeah. Um, I've just had enough of this guy. I really have. So I'm going to play the card that I drew. Ah, it was always going to happen. And I'm going to slam him with the same guard that did it last time. Mm -hmm. uh, because, well, why not? So he activates anybody moving three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So he gets two. Who dies? Even the prime dies count, do they? Yeah. It says any model. Yeah, that's just right. check. That's fine. Just check, because like I say. Right. Um, so he just checks. Yeah, it doesn't have to be stood up. So, so two uh, extra dice. Two then. extra dice to go the uh, four. Ouch. Five. It's not quite the eight dice you can get on this. And I'm rolling. Oh, I'm dodging, aren't I? Just You're in dodging. My rear. Oh. You're dodging, and it's two dice. And this time, I'm hoping for a bit of a better roll. Yeah. So, it's dodging his agility, his armor fives. Oh! Love it. Three! Oh, I'm alright with that. Well, I'm on five with two sixes. So. Okay. It's doubled. It is doubled still. Mm, okay. It's doubled, so you've got three. So I'm not knocked down because I'm steady. Uh, but there I will is, have to make. There is nowhere to push you, so you, can, so you stay in that hex and yeah, you turn, turn to face. face. But there is four lots of damage that does need to be saved. Okay. <coughs> On three. On four dice, because you're a guard. Right, so damage to be saved on fours. Three lots of da four lots of damage. Four lots of damage. Oh, that was a bit lively, that one. So, so two at the minute. It's two gone so far. Three. Three, so he's off for one turn. Okay, let's put him over here. And there we go. Pick him in. <laughs> I've got two actions. He's off to get some krill. To <laughs> get over there. Two actions left. So slow. Uh, I'm going to activate this jack here. Um, oh, okay. I should have said, but anyway. So he generates one dice. Yep. For the gentleman there. Gentleman. There. Gentleman. The rock. They're sort of gender non-specific, aren't they? Yes. Rocks. Uh, and what the hell? I'm going to try and sprint this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to pick up the ball. So which is just right because you moves only four, isn't it? So. Moves only four. Yeah. Get three dice minus one for sprinting, but I may as well use that dice. Mm -hmm. And you're picking up on. I pick up on fours. Which is it? Just. Mm. And last action of the rush. Last action of the rush. Guess I'm gonna to have to try and claw some points back. One, two, three, four. Now let me just check because reach is, two, is yeah. fine. Yeah. Oh, horrible, horrible. Ah, yeah. So that's denying you a point, even though two, you know, I really had just put in there for the sake of it. So I get uh, one dice. I have no coaching dice. It's a goal! <laughs> Pull it back slightly. And we go back this way. Right. So, for one point, and the ref goes two. Yep. So, over to you. When does he move down? He moves down now. <clears throat> you move down at the end of your turn. My turn. Yep. Okay, right. Good, ball comes in. Should be a klaxon, shouldn't there, for the ball coming in? Four, one, two, three, four. That's all right. <coughs> I'm happy with that. Okay. So what does reach do again? It gives you a minus, doesn't it? When you counts as two minus two if you're trying to evade uh, and stuff, isn't it? That is gotcha. Reach oh, okay. means that the threat zone extends an additional hex. So you get a minus one for doing stuff, isn't it? Yeah, unless I'm moving towards you. All right. Yeah. Okay. I am going to buy a card. So I could show this to you because he can't see it. 
So that's worth having. Yeah. <laughs> that really um, works for not stood behind the camera at the, camera at the time, Andy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> um, I'm going to buy another card. You can only buy one card. Oh, thank you very much for clarifying that. So one card has been bought. I will not buy another card. <laughs> Unless you you start with more cards than that. So, for example, oh, the human team starts on, with two. That should be on the third. They can buy two cards. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Tronkit 29, sorry, the Void Sirens don't have any cards. Okay. <coughs> he's not a guard. He is a guard, isn't he? He's, he's got these is. funny double guard things in the name of us. So, one, two, three, four. It's got move of four actually. They're, sh they're slower than the than the big ones. How oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Right, so he's going to move in and slam him. So okay. Who, who was that? That was five, I think he is. I will. Uh... Slam you back. So I get four, five dice for being a guard and moving. I am only slamming on four this time. I get three dice and I'm slamming you back on threes. So I have two. I have three at the minute and one is a six. That's another six. And that's a two. Okay. So four. So, so we've doubled. Yep, I'm pushed back into one of those hexes. And there you go. I do fall over. I'll swap you out for a. And I've got two lots of damage to be saved. Need a piece. One, two. Just got it. Now the doubling for this doesn't get you an extra. Action. No, it doesn't. Your reward is I am not over. I am. Oh, it's so difficult to actually damage you guys, isn't it? I'm going to slam him again. I want to do some damage. So you're going to hit the guy on the floor? Yeah, uh, with the ref get annoyed about that, won't he? Possibly. No way away. It's out for seven. So that does reduce it. Hmm. Yeah, you know we're going to hit him with this guy, actually. I'm going to do him okay. with that one. I will be calling foul. Number three. So, uh, right, yeah, you uh, roll yours. I so roll I get it. five again. I believe I only get one less. So I've got one success. Uh, I've got three at the minute, but two are sixes. Ah, oh, terrible roll on that one, so it's three. But it's doubled, of course. So, uh, yeah, it's doubled. So Can't um, push back because of the wall. Push me to that one if you want. Uh, oh, he's okay, he's okay. But either way, I've got two lots to save on three dice. Oh, good. So I'm going to play my card. Ugh. I'll so all that. next gen med bots. When this player is when play this card when a player is placed in the sim bin due to an injury, this player moves one space towards the subs bench. So he just goes straight to the subs bench. Player that would have been out of the game can be placed in section three. So he there comes off and he goes to here. Okay, so not as bad, saves you a saves you around. Yes, so the foul test then. So I get to make a foul test on three dice to see if it's spotted. Are you going to try and distract the ref? So I can distract with anyone who's within within oh. seven, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. I will. Uh, and that is equal to the number of players you wish to use. Uh, so you've got one, two, three of this. Hmm? Yeah, I'll distract you with these two. You've got one there as well. I don't want to use that one. Okay. Uh, you also get plus one if they're guards. Oh, they're both guards. So plus one for the. Do I get plus one for each guard? Uh, it's just if any are guards. Okay. So I get one for the guards, and how many dice is base three, is it? Um, no, it's per player, so you get three dice. Alright, okay. Against my three dice, both are four plus. It's an opposed roll. Uh, so I've got three at the minute. I'm on three. Two sixes. Four. Five. This should have been a slam. Five. 
five, so you've won but not doubled. Uh, didn't notice it. Alright, if I'd have doubled, what would have happened? You'd have, he'd have spotted Same something thing. on your team, wouldn't Same it? thing. Right. He either spots it or he doesn't. Oh, I see. Right. Okay, so now we'll get on with the game. <clears throat> um, there's a game. Yes, there's a game, yeah. We'll have to make this striker. Yep. So he will come back. So he can turn for free because he's got a movement of six. One, two, three. Try and well, he can just move there anyway because you're not sprinting. It doesn't no, no, matter no, how what, you turn. That's what I mean. Um, so what I want to do is pick the ball up yep. and then I'll be able to continue my move. Or If you double the pickup. Ah, only for the move. Right, so let's try and pick up. So it'd be four dice. Because he's a... And it's a skill test. And his skill is four. Oh, honey. So just. again, he just manages to pick the ball up. Yep. Just is enough. <laughs> and now he'll activate again. One, two, three. And he's going to try and score some more points. Yep, so that's a one dice. Because he loses one for moving and he loses one for a small target. And one, and because the range means you start on three. So I will throw in my coaching dice, um, again. Coaching dice that I gained from my fan check before. And I need one of these to be a four. Oh! Just check something very quickly. You should have actually. So you actually did a stomp successfully. So you actually have a fan check for that, and you've also got a fan check for scoring the bonus point. Okay, fan check for what? The stomp I did over here. Yes. So that's fan check was two. Yep. Okay, and then for scoring the bonus point, it was a one. So that also gives me another dice back. Yep. Press those in for another dice. Scored two points. One, two. Oh, look at that! Three so, in our favour. Ref to move. Uh, yes. The ref moves three spaces. I don't like refs. One, two, three. Two, three now, he can't one. actually end there. Okay, because it's on a scoring zone. Yeah. There we go. He can't end there and he can't end in any of the launch ones. Yeah, well. fine. So he'll go over there and we move on to rush number four. Rush number four. Down by three. Ball comes in to five. Oh, he's gone down back into my recovery zone. Ready to charge on slowly. Tricky one. When I play Dreadball, I like to drink from my Dreadball mug. <laughs> Tricky one. Tricky one drinks Maybe. Yeah. Hmm. For one more point of movement, it would be great. You're a bit slow, aren't you? That's the thing. You don't. You take a pound in, but you're slow, aren't you? Yeah. Right. This is the only way I think I can do this. So let's see if this works. I'm gonna sprint on this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You call that sprinting? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> to a certain extent, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm then going to bring a player on who's going to sprint on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got one more. He wants to stop there. I'm happy for him to stop there. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can get there. Well, actually. We should have generated some dice first because he actually comes on with two dice. From so, the guys on the subs bench? Yes. What? This so, Do you know when you're playing someone on the rules committee and you just, they keep coming up with these new eight. rules? <laughs> and then he's just going to go for it into that one. So that's going to be three dice. I'm going to chuck in these two as well because I'm there as well. You lose them anyway, don't you? So. I lose them at the end of the action, yeah. <laughs> Well, you did it though, didn't you? No, because I'm speed fire. Ah, oh, no! That's terrible! Oof. Ouch! Rocks don't run. <laughs> That's like the team name, isn't it? Who are you sponsored by? Rocks don't run. <laughs> oh, and that oh. ruins everything. Everything is ruined. <laughs> 
I mean, I can see every game there's going to be a new set of dice for Rob. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm going to have to try to do this a different way now. So, uh, any player run. Yeah. And this guy is going to go, well, he's going to generate one dice, and then he's going to go one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Pick up the ball. Pick up the ball. I'm chucking the dice because... He's not going to get it otherwise. No, picking up on a four, is it? Picking up on a four. Oh, oh dear lord! Right, that. Uh, the ball's going to scatter now. Twos and ones is is not good on four dice on fours. We've got the handy scatter thing now. Mm -hmm. So one is this way. And that's the way it goes. And it goes a total of five. Oh, that's less good actually. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Uh, that is the end of my turn. Ow. So it's your turn five, and the referee is going to go seven. Seven? Jeez. Seven. Seven cubes. You can go wherever he wants. He's going to have a look at this guy here. Yeah, hello. Just there. Nice. So. Okay. <sighs> uh, so yeah, we've done the rush already. One, two, three, four, five. These don't generate an area now, do they? Uh, threat areas, no. Okay, first action, number two. One, two, three, four, five. Which is his move. Play my card from before. Yep. Slam. One, two, three. I shall slam back. Okay. So I get my four, five moving in. I'll throw in my coaching dice. Actually. Okay. Actually, do I? Yes, because if you win, then I won't slam you, will I? I'll slam you. Oh, I can slam you. I'm going to be slamming back. Yeah, I'm going to throw this out. So I get five dice. Ah. One's gone off the table already. So there you go. Oh, right. One. Jeez. So I got all of mine except for one. Missed. And I did get. Oh, I've got two sixes in there. Ugh. Jeez. I can't roll anything for sixes and you can't roll anything for ones. Uh, that is seven. Seven. So it's a difference of six. That's, that's, that's doable. So you actually push him back into one of these three hexes here. Uh, that one, please. And he's going to go on his back. Yep. Are I'll you work. following up? I will not. So uh, a difference of six. I have four dice. Threes, wasn't it? Threes. He's dead. Oh! Yeah! I don't him to death, but he's, so, got, he's a rubble man now. <laughs> First thing is there is you get one fan check. Because, uh, because you tripled me. Tripled, yeah. And then one you point. get another one because you did three or more damage. And which gives you. Gives me another dice again. Jeez, these dice just keep on coming. We'll put that one back there to remind us that we have that extra dice. Okay, well that was all right, and that's only the first. So I think as we've got, we've got I think time to spare. We're going to buy one card, which again I'll show to the camera. <laughs> um, We'll bring on this guy. He moves five. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Actually, he'll sprint, so that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Probably more useful getting him further up. And then we will activate number eight who is our MVP so far. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's not gonna dash. We'll just activate him a second time to go hopefully pick the ball up, which we'll try to do. He gets four dice, doesn't he? Pick yep. that up. It's a skill test, which is on fours for him. Oh, God. Uh, doubled, so doubled it anyway. no need to continue with the six. Yep. So he gets a free action then. He does. Which he'll just use to 
chuck it in the hole hopefully. Alternatively, mm -hmm. you can go one, two, three, four. Oh yes, what a sensible man you are. It would bring the game to an end if you get it. Uh, well thank you for that Rob, I will try, I will try. So that's a very good point. One, two, three, see he's not all bad. <laughs> so no, it's just my there. dice. <laughs> To remove to there. Um, and now that's a very difficult shot. It is. But we did have a extra dice from before, of course. So he's going to have, he would start with four. He would lose one for the small hole, lose one for moving, and lose one for being more than. For the range, yes. So he gets one dice, one. but you've also got the coaching dice. I have the coaching dice. So we do the coaching dice, two dice, I need one of them to be a four or more. Here we go. Before, it? Gives you four, takes seven, wins you the game. Wow! Amazing! <laughs> so, right. Crystallion's running, yeah? Five dice, need a five. Look at it! <laughs> you know you get some fives. <laughs> right, okay, well, let's go to the post match Please. synopsis. Please. So, how about that? How was that game? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I think there was a big difference in dice rolling. I couldn't roll anything but sixes, and Rob, what are your ones? <coughs> there was one though, that he, like, he needed four dice with one, you know. Five dice needing one five. Yeah, yeah. and you yeah. didn't get any. Didn't get anything. And, um, it's pretty bad. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think that, that one roll lost me the game. Because from there. I was in a position to boost him again, to go pick the ball up, to run off down the pitch with another, using the car, so it's possibly, possibly on for a three or four pointer, which would have pulled us back level. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. And I think that's one of those things, so Robert already played out this plan, um, and it relied on not difficult rolls, and he had, his, he had a card lined up for an extra run as well, wasn't it? Yep. Um, so you had it all lined up in your head. I was just rolling dice. But, um, but it all fell down on one roll. You would have banked on at least passing, if not doubling. In fact, you're pretty much guaranteed to double I, normally. I just needed one five. Um, yeah. Five dice. Yes, you should get one. You get one. Yeah. So, yeah, you should get one. Most, <laughs> most of the time, you're probably looking at two. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, it wasn't to be. Um, I did still manage to pick up the ball with a different player who could have... Well, I didn't actually pick up the ball, did I? Yeah, scattered off. Scattered, scattered so towards me. Everything went wrong that time round. Um, yeah. Thinking new dice for the next <laughs> game. Won't be the third set I've used in three games for these, uh, yeah, these films. Or maybe, guys, maybe, every we'll, time. maybe we'll just play off camera and if, we know. If anyone we... would like to donate dice to Rob, <laughs> just get in touch with us. It's <laughs> actually, we've got the perfect ones for next time. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. They got the extra weight on them on the sixes. Uh, <laughs> no, no, but uh, they are a wonderful. I mean, wonderful, orange and yellow colour. Um, may have used them when I was playing a different sports-based game and <laughs> had a bit of fun with it. Um, yeah, they're, they're wonderful. They've got custom sixes. Okay. Well, which, they can't be any worse. Let's put it that way, can they? Well, they'll justify the roles, let's put it that way. <laughs> well, well, I mean, I, that's the first game of um, official Dreadball 2 I've played. I played a couple of games in the beta with Jez, who you may remember from the last uh, uh, video we did. Uh, I really enjoyed that. I mean, obviously, the win's always good, but the I mean, the win was um, luck. <coughs> kind of thing. I'm quite conscious of that. I didn't really know what I was doing, to be very honest. But I did enjoy the game. I like the uh, Calamarans, they're very nice. Um, uh, your Crystallans are hard as. I mean, gee, you know, we're lucky to put one off the pitch completely, yeah. but I mean, really, they are. You're yeah. just bashing them down, you get up again, you bash them down again, they get up again. I think both the uh, both the teams we took were a bit of a bludgeon force, weren't they, from that point of view? Um, mine's a lot more sort of defensive. It's, I'm going to be honest, it's not my play style at all. I took them because, you know, I wanted to do something different. Yeah. A little bit different. 
And I think that's the beauty of the of the game being sort of uh, redone, isn't it? That we've got all these teams that maybe you can, we talked about this in the last ones that you can just take a fresh look at because yeah. they play slightly differently, yeah. um, and you can dish them out of the of the cupboard or you can paint them up again if they've been languishing there for a few years. Um, in fact, you painted these up just last night. I was like, wasn't it? I did. Yes, speed painted them last night, probably because you can get away with them a bit like the uh, the Adelora and the other ones in the. Uh, uh, blue clear plastic, yeah. um, you know that base coat takes no time whatsoever. Then just pick out some bits that are wrong and get them done. <laughs> maybe dry brush a bit. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> maybe that'll be the second team I paint. So they only have yes. one team at the moment. All right. Okay. Well, I think you know it was fun. Did you? You, know, you probably didn't enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did enjoy it because it, it was a very different challenge for me because. You're looking to keep them together, and normally, I mean, if you look at the last game, normally I've got players all over the place yeah, running yeah. off. That, that synergy of them all sort of getting that harmonics from each other is like critical, it seems. So, you know, getting yes. extra dice and extra two dice. And, yeah, you know. particularly if you want to try and sprint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, five dice, only one needs to be yeah. a five. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there have been some comments that obviously an eight dice slam is a little bit over the top. But. You've got to work to get that, though, haven't you? That's yeah, the thing. Yeah, it's the it? positioning. And hopefully you've seen that there are flaws to their game as well today. <laughs> and it's not just my dice rolling. Yeah. So anyway, well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. So um, as usual, uh, please like, comment and subscribe. Catch us on the uh, Facebook page, Way to Fire Facebook page. Catch us on the uh, Way to Fire podcast whenever we get around to do one of those again. And, um, and uh, yeah, <coughs> keep enjoying some games and keep playing Dreadball. So take care, everyone. <laughs>